Welcome to Flash Fiction from Giant's Reach by Steve Cook. A bit of a shorter story this week as the school I work at has had a very busy week. The idea of a messenger is quite a popular one in fiction, and it's quite an important thing for world building. How do you get messages around a a big country? Um, It's definitely a position of trust. um, And in the world of Giant's Reach, it's one that would be filled by probably an animal, an uplifted animal, and a man. Um, For all sorts of reasons, you couldn't just trust it to one of those. So here is Past the Post. Past the Post Ferrino pulled his goggles off, the strap getting caught in his long hair. At the same time, he swung a leg over his mount's saddle and slid down to the ground. The goose turned his body slightly, giving Ferrino access to the post bag. Let's see, he said. Got mail here for the smith, something for the chemic, quite a bundle for the mare, and... Oh, this little number for a Mr. Burial, the cook up at the mayor's place. He brought the last item up to his nose, grinning. That little violet envelope again and scented as well. A little something from the mistress, maybe. The man standing nearby took the pieces of mail with a nod. No problem. Your bird need anything? I've no idea. Honko? The white goose looked at Farino and shook his snowy head. No, all good. The local grunted, then paused. Honko? That's... that's what you call him. Farino put his hands up, urging the man back. No, 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 don't don't say any more. That's his name, and he's sensitive about it. He's been known to bite people for less. I- I'm sorry, the man said, stumbling over the apology. I-, I didn't know. It's fine. No problem, Farino smoothed. Listen, you're new at this, right? That's right. Well... A lot of the messenger geese have names that we might find a bit unusual, Farino said. But you need to learn to let it go, man. It's fine. I mean, they probably find our names a bit silly. I'm Farino, but what's yours? Richard. Dick, can I call you Dick? Listen, Honko's got amazing hearing and he'll already have heard all this. Isn't that right, Honko? The goose reared up slightly, its wings and webbed feet moving in concert as it signed something out. See, he's already forgiven you. Farino said. The goose hissed quietly. Um, okay, the local said, already backing away. I'm going to go deliver these, though, okay? Farino watched him leave, hands in the fleece-lined pockets of his leather jacket. Ah, they grow up so young. The goose hissed again, and Farino looked over. Why do I carry you? Why do I do anything for you? The goose signed. Shush, Honko, shush. Farino clambered back up into the saddle. I desperately hope, the goose continued, the jerking as it signed making it difficult for the man to buckle himself in, that one day you find someone who can understand my signs, then you'll be forced to tell them my real name. And on that day, I'll be sure to buy you the best crops to snack on, Farino said, slipping his goggles back on. Until then, Lord Honkington the Fourth, we need to be off. The goose didn't move. Come on, Honk Honk, next village over. More deliveries to make, people are waiting on their post. Farino wriggled in his saddle, rocking backwards and forwards. Let's go. What's the hold up? Say my name properly, you overgrown ape. Honk a honk. Nothing. Mr. Goshonk. The goose just turned its incredibly long neck and stared at him, then slowly opened its mouth to reveal teeth. Farino tutted. Fine, fine, okay then. He affected a little half bow, sat as he was in the saddle. Honecker. Would you kindly? The goose honked once, took a couple of running steps and threw himself into the sky. Good man, Farino said, then smirked. Good honker! The word was lost in a rising cry as the goose did a barrel roll, honking his laughter as the man screamed. After a moment, he righted himself. All right, all right, no more silly names, Farino said. You win. For now. 
The goose, still laughing, carried them off towards the sunset. You've been listening to Flash Fiction written for my Patreon, Giant's Reach. If you'd like to become a supporter, go to patreon.com forward slash Giant's Reach, where you can find more fiction just like this, 